What is up everybody? Welcome back to another Mullet Man episode. If you're new to the channel, stick around. If you enjoy this video, please smash that subscribe button. I'm doing a giveaway when we hit 200,000 subscribers. I forgot to tell you all about the giveaway that I'm doing for 100,000. That video is coming very soon. I'm giving away an Air Force air gun for hitting 100,000. I'm going to do another one for 200,000, so y'all stay tuned. Today I'm going out with the Air Force 25 Cal. My buddy Hayden has like unlimited amount of turtles in his pond and if you've ever heard of a red ear slider, which is pretty much in every pond in Texas, um, they're invasive to Texas and they just eat everything in the pond. They have no predators besides us. So we always, I grew up shooting turtles. Um, it's just a Texan thing, I guess. It's kind of like eradicating pigs. You have to keep your pawns in check and uh, go kill some turtles every now and then. But I got my 25. There's not a better thing out there to hunt these turtles with than this. It's quiet and uh, super accurate. So headed to Hayden's right now. Got some huge bass in his pond. So he catches perch and cuts them up and feeds his bass every now and then. So he's gonna feed his bass today and uh, I'm gonna try to kill a few turtles today. I've never eaten a red-eared slider, but I'm gonna do it. I've, I've looked it up a little bit and a red-eared slider versus like a snapping turtle or a soft-shell turtle, like pretty much the only meat on them is their legs and the neck area. So if we can get a big enough one, I'm gonna take it home and eat it up for dinner. Leave it in the comments if you've ever eaten a red ear snapping turtle or a red ear slider or if you've ever heard of anybody doing it. So this is my 25 cal. It's sweet. I got my tank with me. Super simple and super easy to fill up. Got a little tank. Plug it in just like this. Stick that on there. Make sure your valve's tight. And then you want to just slowly let air into it. You can hear that pop. Get it to 3,000 PSI. And that's it. She's ready to go. 25 cal. Sided in to the T. And uh, I can probably shoot him in the eyeball. So we're going to get over there. See if we can't get one done. Made it to Hayden Joe's house. He's doing a little fly fishing for perch. Or y'all call them bluegill, dude. They tore me up in the comments I because I said perch. They're wearing you out. Look at them. There's like 10 chasing them right there. He is over here catching bluegill with a fly rod. And, uh, I couldn't pass up the opportunity to catch a few bluegill. He's already got about 20 to feed his bass with. Oh, they missing it. Oh, got him right there. That's a good one too. Heck yeah. Good little bluegill took himself off Get him back quick. So guys we're just fishing with a little ant fly floater Hayden's got some spray that he put on it makes it float even more I don't know all them uh, fly fishing terms but Oh, they smoked it. Oh. Man, that can be a mess. There we go. Oh, are you kidding me? There we go. Got him that time. Nice little bluegill. Choked it. I 
I don't think that one is. Nice little bluegill. All right, I'm taking the camera back over. Hayden's gonna show us how it's done. He goes to Colorado every year. He is the fly fish king. I think he will. What do you think? Keep him? Oh yeah. Take him back, feed him the bass. Perch. See a little bass feeding. There's some giants in here. Oh my goodness. Oof. Got away. Got a little perch. See what a uh, how big of a bass we can get to come. <laughs> that was a five pounder. There's bigger ones. There's like eight, nine pounders in here. That never gets old to me right there. One more and then we're just gonna chop them up and feed them. But this right here is just too. There he is. Oh! How you like that, guys? No hooks. We're keeping them safe today. We gotta we got get on a turtle mission. Yo. Yeah. Got him. He's still on there? Guys, turns out that we could not recover any of the ones that we had shot. So, um, I got a rod and reel, got a little bobber, we got some bacon and bread, and we're gonna throw those out and see if one of the turtles will bite on that. But uh, it's just too hard to get the turtles after you shoot them. There's like five foot of moss, so we'll see if we can catch one on a rod and reel. All right, we're gonna try bacon on the bottom and. Uh, Bread on the top. We got two hooks, two treble hooks. See if they eat it. Take a piece of bread. Whoops. Watch out for the fan. Oh, buddy. It's all right, my tip's already broken. Take the middle out of the bread and just smush it on your hook. And we're gonna throw it out as far as we can. Everything that's close is just getting eaten by bass, so scaring the turtles away. Got my favorite rod, favorite shirt. He catches them, boys. Just like that. And we're just gonna let it do its thing and hope we get a big old turtle for dinner. <laughs> Dude, that was a six or seven pounder. That's a monster for sure. Our bobber's getting tore up, but we don't know if it's by perch or what so I gave it some line I'm gonna let him mess with it for a while so we were feeding the bass and the bobber's been under for a while I'm gonna see what we got it's gotta be a turtle we got something I don't know if we can pull them through the moss you can see the bubbles coming up. Yeah. Dude, I don't know if I can get this out. There's a turtle right there. Gee, dang it. <sighs> All right, we got a mega turtle that just popped up right next to the bait. There he goes. Let him eat. We should be able to see him come up to it. I can see the bait. There he is. He's coming. He it. Oh, a bass came after it. That was a bass. That's a turtle underneath it, you see? Yep. Bass just ate it. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. So much for turtle fishing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I just caught a six pound bass on bacon. <laughs> Holy cow. All right, he ain't six, but he's big. Now he might be a six pounder actually. Oh yeah, he's six. <laughs> oh. Six. oh my gosh look at that guys I just caught this bass on bacon can you believe that oh my goodness okay I'm gonna get this guy back and we're gonna try to catch a big old turtle yeah. alright guys 26 grain ballistic tip I'm gonna try to shoot a big one and then uh, I'm either getting in the water to get it or we're gonna try to snag it before I have to get in this mossy water. But uh, we threw some bread out. A bunch are starting to show themselves. So now it's the waiting game for the right one. All right, there's one by the reeds. You see him? Got him. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I stoned him <laughs> right in the head. All right, I'm gonna run over there and see if I can get him. All right, guys. He floated, he floated over here to the edge. Had to get in this nasty water. Oh yeah, I doned him. That is a perfect turtle. He still got a little nerves. Reptiles will kick for like hours after you kill them. But uh, that is awesome. I've never eaten one of these guys, but we're gonna do it tonight for you guys. We're gonna go clean them up and then uh, Throw them in the pan. All right, guys. Like I said, reptiles will move for hours. So his head's gone. We dispatched him completely um, as soon as we got him up. I'm going to go ahead and cut his legs off, and I'll see y'all after that. These shells are so hard. You can literally run over them, and they won't break. So um, just going to take the legs off of him and uh, try to do this as quick as possible so I don't get scratched. All right, guys, I'm cleaning up this turtle. Took the skin off. This is the back legs and I guess the butt of it. And then here's the front legs. I'm going to take the skin off of those and then take them home and eat them up. Guys, made it back to the house. Got my front legs, back legs, and then this is like the back end of it. What you're going to do on these turtles, there's a bunch of yellow fat. You want to make sure you get all the yellow fat off. I'm going to dust them with some critter glitter. You can get it at mulletman.net. Link will be in the description. Dust those off. I've eaten snapping turtle and soft shell turtle. And on those, I've cut off like chunks of meat. And this one was a lot smaller, so I'm just keeping it on the bone. i do that. And then uh, you can see the meat still twitching. Just roll it in flour. I'm not doing a real heavy batter. I want to taste what these guys taste like. Just like that. Got some hot grease. Go right into the grease. So I'm gonna make sure these are cooked all the way through and then uh, pull them out and I'll sprinkle them again with the critter glitter. I'm really interested to see on how these taste. All right, turtle is done. Good plate. I'm gonna put the towel on it so it soaks that grease up. Like a turtle. Alright, take a little critter glitter, just give it a little dust, like that. Alright, let's do a little taste test. Here goes nothing.
Tastes like turtle. Tastes like... It's hard to tell because I cut the meat off the soft shell and a snapping turtle so it's more tender. Coming off the bone I feel like it's not near as tender but it has the same taste. It's a dark meat and uh... There's nothing wrong with that. If I was surviving in the woods and all I had to eat with her was pond turtles. I could live off of pond turtles. Wow. That's crazy. That is crazy right there. That's really good. Well, we busted the myth. You can eat pond turtles and it's super good. So stay tuned for the next video. There's some cool videos coming. Hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up. And remember, eat good.